nail-biting battle between Victoria and South Australia in Adelaide last night. The AFL has indicated the MCG could host the return bout next year, which is already looming as a bitter showdown due mainly to a controversial umpiring decision. Eddie Maguire reports. I just bustled for front position and uh, the umpire uh, thought that I threw him to the ground. Uh, I was obviously disappointed, but um, that's the way it went. The controversy about the free kick will go on in pubs and clubs and households and football clubs for two for, for a year. And it won't change the result, Eddie. Despite all the controversy over the Ablett decision, Victoria had plenty of chances to win what has been described as one of the all-time great state matches. But in the end, it was South Australia by two points, with Tony Modra booting six goals. In the wash-up, the Vicks couldn't help but think, what if? Two points, you know, it's a... Oh, geez. It's a funny game, football, you know. Tony France has added to Collingwood's injury woes. He'll miss three weeks with a torn hamstring. Very disappointing, Ed. You know, I was starting to hit some form and uh, something like this happens. It's a bit of a setback. Melbourne skipper Gary Lyon has a badly corked thigh and bomber Mark Harvey an ankle injury. Suffering a bruised ego, Ted Whitten, but he paid his dues. As part of a bet with an Adelaide radio station, Whitten was forced to walk the length of the Rundle Mall in a South Australian jumper. Have your fun now. Get over and done with. Oh, that was hard to put this jumper on. It still smells too of South Australia, you know. I think it's Chris McDermott's jumper. Not content to direct Victoria's state team, Ted decided Adelaide's peak hour traffic could also do with his assistance. Here I am. You're set aside now. And there'll be no chance of an Aboriginal curse. <laughs> and the good news is for the players. Last night they received the 1,000.